Steve Scalise, the man who whips the votes, so to speak. Sir, you've got to be confident that you've got the 218 votes. You are, aren't you? Well, Stuart, we're going to pass the budget. It's always tough to pass a budget. Uh, we weren't able to get one done last year, but we're going to get it done today. And this starts the process of cutting taxes for all American families uh, and getting our economy back on track. So it's a very important vote and especially important to moving President Trump's agenda uh, to give middle class tax relief. Sir, I've just got this coming on from our producer in Washington, D.C., Chad Pergram. He says the House Liberty Caucus, that's a group of nine libertarians and conservatives, say they do not support the budget. Um, what do you say to that, sir? Well, obviously, we don't have full support from our conference, and you've got some on both ends of the spectrum that uh, are opposed to it for various reasons, but at the same time, the vast majority of our conference recognizes that this is critically important uh, to getting the process started to provide tax relief for the middle class and, and to get our economy back on track. So, you know, it's, it's, it's always a close vote if you look historically. Budgets don't pass by wide margins, but the important thing is that we get it done today. Uh, there are 33 Republicans in the House who represent high tax states. Those 33 Republicans have a real problem with the re getting away from and getting rid of the deduction for state and local taxes. If you don't have those 33 votes, you don't pass the budget. Uh, you're well, smiling. Where do they clearly stand? Clearly, we're working. We're working with all of those members and. You know, some will maybe oppose the budget today, but some are going to vote for it because they know we're working very closely with them. And from Speaker Ryan on down, we've committed to help them solve this problem. And so uh, in good faith, they're working with us. And ultimately, the tax reform bill is going to be the, the place where we address that problem. Uh, but we're working with them right now, and, and a lot of them are going to support the bill. Are you also working on this idea that you reduce the benefits of the 401k tax deduction? Well, you're getting into now what details might be in or out of the tax bill, and I can't speak to that because the, uh, the chairman of the Ways and Means Committee and all of his members are working on the details and they haven't filed the bill yet. Uh, ultimately, what we're focused on is cutting taxes across the board and providing middle class tax relief. And frankly, Stuart, as you know, uh, so many tens of thousands of jobs that have left the country because sure. we're not competitive. We're going to bring those jobs back to America, and that's going to help us rebuild the middle class that's evaporated over the last 10 years. Congressman, I do want to tell you that it's a great pleasure to have you back on the program, and it's really wonderful to see you back in action in D.C. <laughs> it's but great gonna... to be back at work. Thanks. Yeah, oh, it's <laughs> great to see you, sir. It really is. But I do want to close with this. You are convinced that you've got 218 votes to pass the budget. Yes? Uh, I know that we've been working very closely with our members and we're going to have the votes to pass the budget. It'll always be a close vote, uh, but at the same time, our members know what this means in terms of getting the process started, working with President Trump to provide middle class tax relief and when, make our country competitive again. When you were organizing the vote, you're the whip. When you were whipping them into line, did you lay down the law that it would be <laughs> catastrophic to vote no? Look, they, they know what's at stake, and, and we make them aware. It's an educational process, and uh, I won't share with you all the tools we use to educate, but look, our members <laughs> really do know what's at stake, and, uh, and, and they know that this is part of President Trump's agenda, and we want President Trump to be successful. I love working sure. with President Trump because he wants to get the economy moving again. This starts that process. I'm laughing, sir, because you, you, you don't want to reveal all the tools. <laughs> yeah. Looks like sounds like implements a, of torture that you use. I can't give it use. all away, but, uh, you know, fear is a great motivator. But, but having good policy and, and educational process to uh, let people know how important this is to the country, uh, that's really what's at stake. Okay. Congressman Steve Scalise, great pleasure to have you back, and thanks Stuart, for being with us, sir. Great being with you. Much obliged.